Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lanska here and I'm back with another video. So today's video is a makeup video and in this video I talk about how to get your foundation as flawless as possible for an everyday kind of look. If you want to go to work, if you're going on a date, if you're somebody who like minimalistic makeup and you just want to learn how to get a flawless face, this video is for you. So before I jump into it, go ahead and subscribe, turn on your post notification, don't forget to thumbs up this video, share the video, and also leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. Jump right into the video, and if you have any questions, leave them down below, and I will answer you guys throughout the remainder of this video. So I'm gonna get my foundation. So today, I'm gonna show you um, all of the foundations that I use. So this brand of foundation, this is the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. It is so amazing. It's our drugstore foundation and the quality of it is very, very good. All of the reviews on this foundation kind of compare it to the Huda Beauty Foundation and also somewhat to the Fenty Beauty Foundation. So if you don't want to spend a bag of money and buy an expensive foundation, you can try this brand. We also have LA Girl. They have really good foundations as well. And I think this is only for a thousand dollar if you go to Beauty Google in half a tree. So thousand dollars for this. And this is this is a little bit more pricey than this one. Alright. But they both work excellently. Alright. So this is Juvia's place. I already did a video on this foundation already for you guys. I'll also leave this down below in the description box. So I did a review on this foundation. It's a very good. But this is a more high-end version to a drugstore. Try them out. Definitely go ahead and do that. Alright? So first thing you want to do is to also go ahead and moisturize your face. If you are somebody who has oily skin like I mentioned in my previous video, the you have oily skin, you want to get a mattifying primer to help balance out the oils on your face. And you would like to buy a mattifying or a matte foundation as well. If you are somebody who has more, like, you know, more drier skin, you want a more moisturizing primer and a moisturizing um, foundation as well. So you want a Dewey, D-E-W-Y, Dewey foundation. So like I said, when you go to the store, you're going to choose your foundation. They will tell you what type it is and how to match it on your face and all of that. So go ahead and get that done. But for those who already have their foundation, let's get right into it. So for today, I'm going to be mixing these three shades together so it's a perfect match. Okay. Alright guys, so I have mixed my foundations together and I have it ready. So I'm going to show you a primer that I use that I love. This is the NYX Pore Filler Primer and I love it because when I add it to my face, my face feels very smooth. And if you're somebody who has like large pores, it helps to, you know, even out that and gives you one smooth, flawless finish when you apply your foundation. So I've added the primer to my face. I don't know if you guys can visibly see how smooth it looks, but it feels very smooth and like very flawless right now. It feels very like almost kind of like bouncy in a way, but yeah. So the first thing you want to do is to grab your foundation brush. So they have different types of foundation brushes. You have stippling brushes, you have the ones that are flat. I'm going to give you guys some examples of the different types and you can choose Depending on what you prefer, you can choose the different type of foundation brush that you would want to use when you're applying your foundation. So let me just show you my, my favorite brush to use. Actually. I like this. I like this one. This is the brush from Real Techniques. This is the Real Techniques 200 um, face brush. I love this one. It's very precise. And I love this one from MAC. This is the MAC 187 Stippling Foundation Brush. I love these two. I tend to use these two often. Or I use this flat one. It's kind of dirty. So this one, I use this flat top one as well. But I generally use these two when I um, apply my foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and start to apply my foundation. I'm going to show you guys what I do when I'm doing that. Okay, so the first thing I do... I go down to the sides of my face, I go to the parts of my face where I have this discoloration and I try to like blend the foundation on that part first. So like right here so, and right here. And then I go to my forehead. And guys, you can do it, whatever, you don't have to do it this way but this is how I do it. Then I go down to my chin and I try to cover all of the darkness, all of the discoloration first and then I tend to blend upward or to the parts that I have the less discolored area. So, 
Yeah. Alright, so right now I have all my face covered. So I'm gonna use my stippling brush first to blend everything out. Just like, so you want to like tap it like this. Front switch just like get all of the places that are discolored and then I go up and when you're blending out your foundation you try not to mess up your eyebrows you know how your eyebrow where you just work 10 minutes for fix and then you, you, you try to blend out your foundation and, and then you mess up your eyebrows no no so when you reach the, to the edges of your your arm your hairline and your eyebrow take your time and then like you know like brush it like this take your time on the side turn up brush out the along your nose the aim is to get a flawless to get one flawless um coverage along your face and if you so if you're somebody who has a darker neck you want to bring the foundation downward to your neck so if your neck is if your neck doesn't match your chest but your chest and your face is one color like if your face your chest is one color buy a foundation that's going to match your chest and your face and then take your brush and then come down see your neck and vice versa so you're so if you realize some part of your face need more you can just add some more and just build up the coverage to your liking so if you realize some part of the face need more go ahead and just add some more to it all right it's almost like a color okay that's cool when you use a color okay yeah go between the lines and something same concept we're just coloring and we're just filling in the areas that are not fully covered so like i said when you're going up to your eyebrow and like you're already carved out you want to take your time because you don't want to mess it up so take your time and i can just kind of like rub it around yeah and then you blend like so between the starting or middle between the rolling and like blend that out too and that's how you get a flawless base for the start of your foundation see how the good though and they can say you don't guys you do not want any harshness around these areas so you want to just so you blend it out as best as possible okay so this looks good to me so I'm gonna stop right here so no okay perfect okay guys so as you can see i've added all of the foundation and as you can see i have one tone one even tone so now it's time to highlight and to contour guys you don't have to contour if you don't want to but you know me already like i like all the drama i like all the flares so i'm gonna go ahead and highlight and contour so all right so when you're using your concealer to contour i'm gonna show you how i do it no over time when you start by yourself and think eventually you're gonna have your own style of doing it because there's really no right or wrong way to do it but this is what i do so if you guys want to follow my routine this is what i do okay this is what i do okay guys so i'm gonna show you guys two different types of concealer so i have a stick concealer this is from the Fenty Beauty Matchstick Trio and this is in the shade Suede. So, can you guys see that? This is Suede. And then I have the Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade number 11. Wait, I can't remember again. Number 11. So, number 11. So, I'm going to be using both. I haven't used this concealer in a while because I don't really like this stick concealers I prefer to use the liquid ones but I'm gonna be using this one today so let's go so because this is the, because this is kind of harder to blend out I'm gonna use it on the outer part and then I'm gonna use the liquid one in this inner part so and this, this is barely noticeable I want to apply it all over under my eye and stuff can, be, can you guys barely see that? Here, here. You can, can barely see it. So if you want a more natural look, you can get this um, shade if you're a dark skin person. Like if you're my shade, this is a um, very minimalistic 
kind of type of highlight if you want it for like work but if you can if you kind of like a little bit more of a stand out type of highlight then you can you know always add a, a tad bit lighter shade so i'm gonna go over this with this so you know what i'm gonna blend this out first before i um And guys, when you're blending on your concealer, you want to go back to the edge and ensure that there is no harsh lines. There, so take the same foundation brush and just go back to the edge, and also use that to blend just to avoid any harsh lines or anything like that. Okay, so this is very like natural, like really natural, and I don't want to look so natural. You know what I'm saying? You know, so I'm gonna take a small amount of the Juvia's Place concealer, it's kind of lighter than the suede. I'm gonna just put one dot, it's a little cool, it's like a little bit brighter. So <laughs> I'm gonna do that for the next side, my forehead, and my nose bridge, and then right here. So I'm not, we're not trying to remember you know guys it's still a natural look we're doing so we don't want to go overboard and i'd be too light with the concealer for the highlight so i'm going to this is why i only use one dot you know so i'm going to take this brush the real techniques brush and i'm going to also use that to blend this out so can you see that see that can you see that yeah so if i'm going to use any more it'll look too light right and we're not necessarily want that because we're trying to do this for like every day makeup kind of look so you want to look as natural as possible but you know me kind of like with extra Ooh, can you see that So you can see how different I look now. My face looks a little bit more bright, and my face kind of looks more like you know forward as opposed to how it looked when I just added the um the Fenty alone. Yeah, no, but no, there's more more personality. There's more personality. So I'm gonna take the same um blending sponge and I'm gonna also go back and blend that out again. The aim is to avoid any harsh lines. I don't want the harsh lines like. I hate seeing girls with my complexion wear them foundation and then it's so harsh like you can't see the line, you can't see them neck. Uh, no, we're not trying to do that. We're not trying to do that. You're already rough already. We're not trying to do that with our lives, okay? So yeah. Boom. As you can see, foundation flawless. Blended out flawless. So right now, so okay guys, so now it's added the foundation and we highlighted. Now it's time to contour. You want to bring some structure into the face, right? So I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Espresso. Whenever I do contour, I always use it. This is the, whenever I do my contouring, I always use this one. I'm gonna try to show you guys. So it's Espresso. Yeah, so I always use expression to contour my nose, my cheeks, and all of that. So we're gonna just show, I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. And I feel like I've been doing these videos long enough for you guys to kind of like see my method and how to do that. But just because I know many people don't really fully understand, that's the reason why I'm doing this video. So you take the contour stick and we're gonna go right below, all right to the edge of my nose bridge as you can see I'm going right here so right there I'm gonna go to the next side with the same exact thing and I'm not using a lot so as you can see there my nose is somewhat kind of carved out already and I'm gonna make a circle around the tip of my nose like so to further give the illusion of contour I'm gonna also go down to the side of my the hollows of my cheek I'm gonna do this. You could look face, you know. Like that. And sometimes 
I see people go around the, the like the forehead and under the chin. I really don't do that a lot. But for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how you can do it. So basically, you're forming and one and two dots just to kind of like give the illusion. If you want to make your forehead to look smaller, if you have a big forehead, or if you want to get your chin to look a little bit, little bit more like chiseled, you go along like so. so. And as you can see, guys, my face already looks a little bit more like chiseled and a little bit more carved out already. And I have not even blended out as yet. So you imagine how I'm blending out. Alright, taking the same um, beauty spot that I'm gonna go along the hollows of my chin to start with. I'm gonna use this brush to like blend out. I'm gonna use this brush to blend out the contour. Double chin gone. Oh my lord, look at that. The double chin has left the building right now. Cheekbones on sleep, you know? I'm gonna go to right here. Oh my god, my sinus are about to be guys. Oh, oh, let me alone. I'm sinus popping. Oh my god, okay. Okay, great. So it's time to do the nose contour. Taking the, the sponge, and I'm gonna do top. As you can see, my nose already looks small. I don't have a nose. Like, I don't have a nose. Look, my nose is gone. Look, guys, look at this. I don't have a nose. Everything is the same thing to the next side. And just tap, 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 Look, no nose, and I'm going to go up here so now I'm like bring that out too. Oh, no. See that? My nose is small. I don't have a nose, guys. I don't have a nose. Look at that. Look at that. Look. Eyebrows fleeking. Everything is just looking very like. Like snatch. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Guys, tell me, sir. I'm going to look different. Look at that. So, it's really easy, guys. Look at how flawless I look already. Look at how flawless I look already. Like, I'm not going to do anything yet. Okay come closer guys can you see how my face looks very chiseled and very like you know are you guys seeing that are you guys seeing that look at that Ooh. all right let me stop okay, so now that we have contoured and highlighted our face it's time to set those areas now the main reason we're going to go ahead and set these areas is because we do not want when we start to sweat all of the foundation and the concealer starts to move we don't want like you want it to be set in place Hence the reason why it's called setting, right? So you want to set everything in place with powder to avoid it, the movement or the shifting of it all from your face, basically. So you want the function to set so it don't move, so it don't start to look weird when you're on the road. 
and we know Jamaica is hot so you want to have your face fully light so the place to look very natural and smooth and flawless throughout the time you can be wearing the makeup so all right I'm gonna show you the powders that I use when I'm setting my face I always use the same powders in all my videos so for the um whatever brand of makeup or function you're using they would have the shade they would have that shade in a powdered form so you can get the same shades in powdered form now for me i always use this powder in the shade number four for my entire face right and then i use this number three shade or i use number six to set my highlighted areas so first of all i'm gonna go ahead and set my highlighted areas I'm going to take the same, um, same um, sponge. I'm going to use the same sponge to pick up the um, powder. So the powder looks like. Can you guys see that? So the powder looks like. I'm going to take my time and dab it or tap it into the highlighted area. So like this. Just like. I'm basically pushing the powder into my face into the concealer to basically set it so it doesn't move so it stays in place. And do the same thing for the next side. So do the same exact thing. Any wrinkles or anything like that, I want everything to be fully set. So I'm just gonna make sure that I really press it into my face, like so. Okay, so you can see how my face looks a little bit more like like matte you now because I have combinations into so my face, is sometimes oily, sometimes dry. So I'm going to do the same thing with every area, with all the areas, that I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to do the same thing with all of the sections that we added that, that we added the highlights to, so, my chin, I'm going to dab it in, like so, just, it's pressed in there, it's pressed in there, okay, and then we're going to do the forehead now, and then the nose.
how flawless my face looks right now. Can you see how flawless my face looks? Alright, now it's time to do to set the contour. So I have a brush here. I have this brush. It's kind of dirty, but I'm going to use it regardless because it's my brush. So. Alright, to set my contour, I don't have, I necessarily have a dark enough shade to do the contour to set it but I have this um, this shade here and it's dark enough to act as um, contour so I'm gonna just use it as my setting powder for my contour and also it acts as a brush as well so I'm gonna just go along right here so I can like brush it so, it, it's, so it's warming up my face along with giving me some blush it's it's almost like bronzer in a way. It's almost like my bronzer for my face. I'm gonna go up to my forehead and go around. Just like that. Just like that. Just under this up. And then I'm kind of crazy because you're saying that brush is crazy, but I'm gonna. So you want to blend it out, it's a little too harsh, right? So I'm taking this brush and I'm gonna just blend to just get rid of the harsh look. It's not that I've set and everything, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna add a little, a small amount of powder under my eyes because we're gonna go hard, we're gonna go on. To add our eyeshadow so it's gonna help to catch any fallouts from the eyeshadow so it won't mess up my face so I'm taking the Peter powder in the shade number six number six in pseudo number six yeah and I'm gonna just add a little under my eye just to catch any fallout so I'm taking the same brush I used to set my entire face and I'm gonna just pop up the excess and just lightly Slightly add some powder under my eye, just like this. Just slightly add some. Just slightly add some. Oh, slightly. All right, guys. I'm gonna also do revert reverse contouring. So I'm gonna take some of the same powder and then go right below my my contour area and I'm gonna just add a little just to carve out my face a little bit more so can you guys see how easily it gave me a more chiseled carved out look in my face can you see that yeah so I'm gonna just excellent so it's time for the eyes all right so I'm thinking I'm gonna be using my Juvia's Place palette guys so this palette my friend Candy bought it for me so shout out to you Candice thank you for the palette girl I love it I love it thank you Alright, so I'm going to take this fluffy blending brush and I'm going to be going to use the shade Cameroon as my transition color, my first lip color. So this, this is my first time really using these colors. So I hope it's a very, I hope it's very pigmented because people keep saying that Juvia's Place has the most pigmented eyeshadow. So let's test that theory out. So taking the Cameroon shade and I'm going to go into my crease section and I'm gonna apply it to my crease you guys can you see that? yeah, I can kinda see it, let me So I hope you guys can see the shade coming through on camera. I'm gonna tap it into the color one, two, three, so four times. Um, let's see if it shows up on camera. It's a very pretty brown shade though. Very pretty brown shade. I like the way it looks. I'm gonna do the same thing to the next eye. So 
using windshield wiper mm -hmm. motions is like patting it first and then rubbing it like windshield wiper motions like this the color pay off with uh, it's average in my opinion i don't know if i'm doing something wrong concealer to create a foot crease and guys I think I've done a lot of videos and most of foot crease so I'm gonna take my time and show you guys how to achieve a cut crease it's easy we're doing we're doing a half uh, basically you're doing a cut crease you're gonna make a half circle on the lid looking hard so so this is my concealer here and I'm taking this concealer brush here and we're gonna so for this guys you have to take your time so you can't rush this if you do that it's not gonna come out right okay so a trick you can use this trick to do your cut crease if you're a big enough just put some on your lid like so then look up and as you can see it, it kind of like outline where the cut crease should start right and then you're gonna take your brush and kind of like follow that line okay take your time just drag it down where the water line just like this Bin, bin two, you know the shade, this shade right here. And I'm gonna take this flat brush and just tap it in there, and we're gonna use the same that color at the outer part of the cut crease, and I'm gonna use that color to close it off. So we're gonna use this color to close off the edge of the cut crease. You can just pat it in like that. So we're gonna add some, go back into the palette and get some more. We're gonna just close it off like that. Just tap it on the corner like that. Okay, and there you go. So I'm. Um, we're gonna use this shade is called kissy this shade here we're gonna use kissy as um the second as the first color on the on the so i'm going to take a different brush so we're using this shade as our um first lid color and i'm going to be using this brush to apply so i'm going to just rub it in like this the 
use a matte shade so for the matte colors you want to tap and not rub it in so, so you want to tap it on the lid and not rub it right so let me demonstrate so I'm gonna tap it like so and see me tapping it in So when you when you finish adding all of the colors, you want to go back into it and like kind of like blend into it. There's like a harsh line. So you want to like kind of like mix the this shade and this shade together by just rubbing it across. And then okay, guys. So like I was saying, you want to use you want to ensure that the shades they bleed into each other, so you don't want any harsh lines. So as you can see, I'm taking the gold shade and I'm like brushing it into the um the other matte shade. And then for the edge, I'm gonna go back to the edge and the same shade that we use and um, the shade bean to bean toy or bean to. We're gonna go back and we're gonna add some more just to ensure it blends with with um kissy. So we're gonna go back in with kissy again and just make sure that it blends in with bean to and also the gold shade so you know let's enjoy this blending together like this and you're gonna go back again with the same outer shade and this enter everything is blending together and once you're through you should have something looking similar to this so I'm gonna do the same I'm gonna do the same thing to the next eye and then we're gonna come back all right guys so I've added the lashes off camera so I did lashes off camera and so the eyes are looking like right now. So yeah. So all I'm gonna do right now is just to brush away the excess powder from my face that we added under the eyes. Like 
it's sweet and actually that's good. So once you use that, we're gonna use the shade suede and then go into the center. But just to intensify, I'm gonna use this nude lip, this nude lip piece, and I'm gonna go into the center okay. like that. And we're gonna use a brush, brush here to just put it out like so. But we have to highlight, so we can't leave and not highlight our face. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use um, cinnamon from cinnamon from Fenty. So taking cinnamon from the matchstick trio from Fenty Beauty, I'm gonna use this highlight shade. This I can show you. So now we've done the face, it's no time to set it with your setting spray. No, you have a lot of different brands that have setting sprays. You just need to find one that you like. And, you know, I'm using the Mario but this skincare, this is the um Kukuba water, this is the um the chamomile aloe and lavender and I use it to set my face. So I'm going to just lightly spray my face and this will help set and just to, you know, blend everything so like all the powders and everything so just That's it uh, So I'm going to take So I'm going to take the big sponge and I'm going to just go ahead and just help this Until next time guys, sooner or later, bye.